Argentina is taking decisive steps to modernize its armored forces in response to the growing threat posed by small drones and FPV aircraft on the modern battlefield. During the Aonikank military exercises in La Pampa on October 8, 2025, several tank Argentino Mediano TAM, tanks were outfitted with protective turret frames, signaling a pragmatic approach to enhancing survivability without waiting for an entirely new tank design. Images shared by official Argentine defense channels show the lattice-style frames mounted atop the turrets, combined with camouflage netting and fabric covers, creating an improvised but effective layer of protection against aerial attacks. This field modification is emblematic of a broader global trend in which militaries are forced to adapt legacy platforms to counter drones, highlighting how lessons from recent conflicts in Europe and the Middle East are influencing armored tactics in South America. The introduction of these protective frames, sometimes referred to as drone cages, addresses a growing vulnerability for armored units, attacks from above. Small unmanned aerial vehicles can easily bypass traditional frontal armor, dropping explosives directly onto vulnerable turret hatches. By installing a lattice frame that creates a gap above the turret, Argentine engineers aim to disrupt or prematurely detonate munitions before they can penetrate the armor below. While this solution does not guarantee complete immunity from FPV drones equipped with shaped charges, it provides crews with a crucial defensive buffer, allowing them to survive long enough to maneuver, counterattack, or retreat. The addition of camouflage materials further reduces the visual and thermal signature of the tanks, decreasing the likelihood of detection and engagement by enemy drones. This combination of structural and concealment measures represents a practical, cost-effective solution that prioritizes survivability in low- to medium-intensity conflict scenarios. The decision to implement these protective frames also reflects Argentina's broader approach to tank modernization. The TAM has been the backbone of the nation's armored forces for decades, originally developed in collaboration with Germany's Tyson Henschel and based on the Martyr Infantry Fighting Vehicle chassis. Over the years, the TAM has undergone several upgrades to extend its operational lifespan, culminating in the latest TAM 2C, A2 variant. This model integrates enhanced fire control systems, modern sensors, and improved reliability while preserving its mobility and the 105mm main gun's firepower. By combining these systemic upgrades with field-adapted protective frames, the Argentine army is bridging the gap between legacy platforms and modern operational requirements without over-reliance on entirely new equipment. This approach reflects a careful balance between capability, cost, and readiness, demonstrating that strategic innovation does not always require cutting-edge hardware. The timing of these upgrades is particularly significant. The use of drones has become increasingly prevalent in conflicts worldwide, from urban environments in the Middle East to open battlefields in Eastern Europe. FPV drones, small quadcopters, and loitering munitions present a new class of threat that conventional armored vehicles were not designed to withstand. In response, armies across the globe have implemented similar adaptations. For instance, Russian and Iraqi tanks have been equipped with lattice-style turret frames and additional modular armor to counter overhead attacks. These measures are not intended to replace multi-layered counter-drone strategies, such as detection, jamming, or active defense systems, but they provide a vital layer of immediate protection that can significantly increase a crew's chances of survival. In this context, Argentina's adoption of protective frames reflects both tactical pragmatism and awareness of global trends in armored warfare. The Aonikank exercise itself highlights the Argentine military's commitment to multi-domain operational integration. These exercises are designed to test and refine coordination between land, air, maritime, cyber, and information components, simulating the challenges posed by constant aerial surveillance and attacks from small unmanned systems. The deployment of TAM tanks with protective frames during these exercises serves as a practical demonstration of how existing platforms can be adapted to evolving threats. It also underscores a broader doctrinal shift, armored forces must now account for threats from above in addition to traditional frontal or flanking attacks.
The Argentine army is sending a clear message to both domestic and regional audiences that survivability under aerial threat is a baseline requirement, whether operating at home, on the borders, or in expeditionary missions abroad. Operationally, the protective frames are a testament to the ingenuity of Argentine crews and planners. Unlike factory level upgrades, these field modifications are relatively simple to install, flexible, and affordable. They represent a pragmatic compromise between cost, protection, and mobility. The lattice structure is designed to disperse the energy of small munitions and prevent direct hits on vulnerable turret components, while the combination of nets and fabric reduces detection. In real-world conditions, this means that crews can adapt their vehicles in the field according to specific mission requirements, providing an extra layer of defense without significantly reducing speed or maneuverability. The Argentine approach illustrates a broader principle increasingly recognized worldwide, in the era of drones, the most effective upgrades often involve procedural adaptation and modular solutions rather than comprehensive platform replacement. Strategically, the deployment of protective frames on TAM tanks demonstrates that Argentina is absorbing lessons from global conflict zones and applying them within the constraints of its defense budget. By combining upgraded sensors, fire control systems, and practical protective measures, the Army ensures that its armored forces remain capable, flexible, and relevant in modern combat environments. These measures are particularly significant given the limited resources available for full-scale modernization or procurement of entirely new platforms. By taking incremental yet impactful steps, Argentina is enhancing the survivability of its forces while maintaining operational readiness. Such adaptations are critical not only for conventional defense but also for peacekeeping operations, border security, disaster response, and other missions where the risk posed by small unmanned aerial vehicles is now an everyday reality. From a comparative perspective, the Argentine example aligns with a growing international recognition that vertical and overhead threats must be addressed as urgently as frontal armor protection. Crews across the world are increasingly prioritizing turret-top defenses and modular overlays that can be deployed rapidly in response to evolving drone threats. While these measures do not eliminate the need for integrated counter-UAS, CUAS, capabilities, they serve as an essential complement, giving forces time to respond and adapt to hostile conditions. Argentina's decision to adopt protective frames illustrates a keen understanding of these dynamics. Survivability is no longer just a function of armor thickness but also of proactive adaptation to emerging threats and operational flexibility. In conclusion, the Argentine Army's use of protective turret frames on TAM tanks represents a significant step in modern armored warfare adaptation. By integrating field-deployable protective cages with upgraded sensors, fire control systems, and disciplined training, Argentina is effectively bridging the gap between legacy systems and the realities of contemporary aerial threats. This initiative demonstrates a pragmatic approach to modernization that prioritizes cost-effective survivability, operational flexibility, and multi-domain integration. As drone technology continues to evolve and proliferate, the Argentine experience provides a valuable case study in how smaller defense forces can innovate and adapt without waiting for entirely new platforms. In the broader context of regional and global military strategy, the TAM's protective frames signal a clear message, in the age of drones, protection from above is no longer optional, and adaptability is the key to maintaining relevance, effectiveness, and crew safety on the modern battlefield.